All right, car on back plate in Cinema 4D using Arnold. First, let's get ourselves a nice back plane. So let's go over here to images. We'll get one of these. Well, actually, let's get a larger one. Just to make sure. Let's go to filter, image size, extra large. I might go back if I don't find anything I like. Let's see. What can we get? Yeah, we're basically we're gonna be doing that. Yeah, let's get this. See my image, so hold a parking lot. And let's start this, right? So let's first go get a camera. And then we're going to go to tags. And we're going to go to tracker tags, camera calibrator. We're going to click on the camera calibrate, uh, calibrator, go to image, then click on the three dots. And I'm going to find my image. Okay. So found my image right here. Now I'm gonna click right here where it says full image. I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna to go to calibrate. And then we're gonna to go to add grid. So now we see our grid, we see our four points right here. Now let's align this to our scene. And for this, I'm just gonna use uh, this, this part of the parking lot. So I'll take this point right here I'll move it to the end of this. And I'll take this one over here. And I'll move it to the other end. And that line should connect. Cool. Now I'll click right here. And I'll take this. And I can bring it to the end of this one right here or this. It should be the same. As a matter of fact, let me just do this. So I can follow that edge over there. And with this one, ah, we don't really have too much. So we would have to kind of pretend that we know that it'd be over here. Oh no, it'd be over here. Of course, this picture looks kind of skewed or warped. So let me put it about right here. Yeah, I think that looks good. Cool. So now that we have our grid, let's uh, let's calibrate it. All right. So how we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down Shift and we're gonna click. Let's click on this edge right here and it turns red. Then I'm gonna do Shift and then click and we're gonna go to the opposite edge. Click over there. That's for Y, but we don't want that. So we're going to hold down shift and then click one more time and make that Z. Cool. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get inside of my camera. I click on my, uh, on the bracket to make it white. Now I'm going to go click on create background object. All right, so now let me middle mouse button click. I'll go into my four way view right here. And let's put an object here. Now, um, I have a car object that I want to use, but first let me use a uh, sphere. 
So I'll take my sphere, I'll place it right here on the ground in front of my camera. Middle mouse button click, let's go into our other views, like this one, you see it right here. And I just like to put it, you know, right in front of the, uh, of this, um, I don't even know what you call it. I guess almost like the camera's normal, just so I'm making sure that I'm seeing it. And the same thing right here, what's already in the middle, so it's fine. But great, we have it in there. So it obviously works. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock my camera. So I'm gonna click on my camera. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to rigging tags. No, wait, rigging. Rigging tags, yeah, that's right. And then protection. So now I can't move my camera. I can't mess it up. If I wanna get out of my camera, I'm out of my camera. Now, if I don't wanna see my background, I just click on this top dot and now it's gone. So what I'd like to do now is uh, bring in my car. It's in a Lamborghini that I downloaded from the Arnold website. And I took it into Maya and I exported it as FBX. So let me go in here and go to um, you know, merge objects. Let me find this car. Okay. So I got it in here, Lambo FBX. And here it is right here, and it's a GeoNote. So I'm gonna press a T to scale. I'm gonna press S so we can scale up and see it. And so we can see where our ball is, how big our ball is in our car. So I'm just gonna drag this out and I'm gonna scale this up. Oh, it comes with its own ground plane, which interesting, I guess. But look, you see four plane right here. But let me just go to this geo and I'll scale it up. Now, let me just move it over here real quick. And I'm gonna go back inside of my camera and I'm gonna turn off this background. And now we can take this and find a place for it. So let me rotate it. I'm gonna press uh, R to rotate, uh, hold down shift and click. Oh, wait, wait, it didn't happen. I click on the band, hold down shift, yeah, now I'm getting it, 90 degrees. Cool. So since we have our ground plane right here, let's uh, give this a material. So the material we wanna give is, we're gonna click right here. And these are the already the Arnold materials that uh, came with it. Um, but we're gonna make ourselves, oh, here, look, here's the floor. Floor plane, floor material, cool. But instead of having this be the floor, or having this material on there, press delete. And I'm going to um, create something else. I'm gonna to go to Arnold Materials, no, I mean Arnold Surface Shadow Mat. And so now I have this shadow mat material. I'll take this and I'll put it on the floor plane. All right. So now let's go here, let's put it on Arnold. And let's uh, play. Oh, not play. Wrong program. I like that in Maya. You can just click on it and go. But here, let's go to IPR window. All right, this is exactly what we want to see. So we can't see anything really. I mean, we see the car, but we can't really see the. Um, uh, what's going on on the ground. So we need to create some lights. So let me get out of my camera. So glad I locked it because it's easy to mess that up. And I'll click on this. Let's get a light. So I'll go to window. I'm sorry, not window. Arnold lights. And let's get a quad light. We have it here. You can kind of see how it's working a little bit. We could also hide our camera. Someone's like to hide the camera. Like if I was to go right in here, my intensity, so we see what's happening. So now what we'll do is take this. And place it like this.
Okay. Let's go into our Arnold IPR window again. Oh, it's up there. Because we need to go to camera. Let's go to camera. 